you never know what you're going to find in this workshop. We do all kinds of wild and wonderful things, but today we've really got one for you. We're going to be making a dress form. Does she look anything like me? Actually, I wish. I think I, 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 I mean, I'm a little afraid of making my own dress form because I'm not sure I want to just sort of see myself in, in brown uh, looking at me all the time. But I could decorate, and that kind of tickles me. So let's talk about the person who's going to show me how, and it's Jan Bones. It's great to have you here. Thank you, Linda. It's nice to be here. So what got you going on this? Well, my great-grandmother actually was a dressmaker in Winnipeg in the early 20s and 30s. Mm -hmm. And as a, a young girl, my mom showed us pictures of my great-grandma's workshop. And um, uh, my mom remembers telling stories of going down to the workshop Saturday mornings and slopping a flour and water glue on the back of brown paper strips. Mm -hmm. And my great-grandma would make just the bodice of some of her customers because there was very intricate beadwork involved. Okay. So she made the bodices and then the customer could leave and she could do all the hours of work it took to, to make the beadwork bodices. So that was sort of my first Isn't this remembrance. this perfect then? Yeah. I mean, this is meant to be. It she is would be so be. tickled. Yeah. 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 Okay. And so... Did you sort of refine the technique? Did you have a bit of experimenting to do? What well, I, yeah, I teach um, at the university, and one of the things we have uh, is always a need for forms for mm -hmm. students mm -hmm. or for historical costumes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, it's a really economical way to create forms. So we played sure. around actually making forms on existing forms and then okay. forms on bodies and, uh -huh. and uh, realized uh -huh. uh, that it was a, a great way to duplicate a person's body as much as we might not love that. <laughs> It gives us it a, a way be. to sew and sure. fit by looking at something else instead of ourselves yeah. always in the mirror. It so. might be a good uh, weight reduction <laughs> scheme. I mean, you look at that and you think, okay, something's got to be done. It's time. So, true, true. So do you have some, uh, you teach classes, I know. I do. And yeah. how many people would you take in the class? Um, normally 15 to 18 is my <laughs> choice. Okay. okay. And we divide up into groups of three people. Okay. And yeah. there's, yeah. we always call them the victim. That's the first person yeah. who's having their, their model yeah. made yeah. or their form made. Yeah. And then uh, one person wedding our paper strips the second person we'll doing some wrapping, yeah, so yeah, you and yeah. I will be a team and yeah, we'll do that yeah. together. Tell me, what, are, what you must have funny stories on oh, this. Oh, there are many funny <laughs> stories, but two funny stories. One of them, a uh, form was made for one of the girls in one of the teams, and her dress form was great. Her teammates did a really great job. Okay. And uh, she looked at it kind of, and she was very quiet at the end of the class, sort of left and didn't say very much. And about a week later, we were together at another um, event, and I said, oh, how's your form? And she looked at me, and her face went to this deadpan series, and she says, I don't think I've bonded with my form yet. <laughs> she said, I have it hanging on a, in a, in a closet. With, it. Yeah, she wasn't Expose sure, it. Yeah. but it was beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. then another one that is actually interesting about body image, there were a large group of people that I was teaching, and at the end of the day, a very tiny lady was left, and there was a very giant form left on one of the racks. Mm -hmm. And one of the very larger ladies mistook a form and took a petite form home <laughs> and left the large. So I like we all, that. yeah, I like, yeah I like that one too. <laughs> okay, let's, yeah. let's get going okay, on this and show great. me what you do. Great. So we, we begin by um, using a clear dry cleaner's bag. Sure. Mm -hmm. and it's, Good for recycling. So and it is, good. and it's just thin over the body. It doesn't add a lot of volume. It, what, what do you wear? Usually bra and panties okay. is the best. Whatever undergarments normally would be worn when okay. you wear the most okay. kind of Girl, clothing shape. Uh, something but whatever you normally do okay. to okay. make your body the shape you want it to be sure. under clothes. Sure. Okay. So today we're being a bit more modest. So we okay. have a bra, camisole, and shorts, which, okay. you know, is sure. fine too. Sure. And so once we, uh, we make a hole in the plastic bag of the neck, couple in the armholes, because we really want the skin covered. Mm -hmm. the the tape we're using is a brown paper tape that has a cellulose backing and it's really sticky. It doesn't have any chemicals, but it really will stick to your skin. Sure. So the plastic is here to protect okay. um, the skin okay. and the clothing and the sure. underwear sure. as we go. Have you so, tried all different kinds of tape and this is the best one that you found? Or? I, I like this one because yeah. it dries to a rigid state. So the dress form is rigid when it's done. It doesn't okay. collapse in humidity. It's very lightweight. It doesn't need to be stuffed. Okay. It, it's just good on its okay. own. Okay. And um, it, makes a, it makes a really nice job of the, of the form. So what we need to do in wrapping is always remember that we want the smooth to the form to be as smooth as we can make it. So we're <laughs> like wrapping. Cover the lumps, kind yeah, of. Is that what you're saying? Well, but if if you'll notice, if I can just she doesn't have any lumps. Do, no, so. she has no, no lumps. No, but no. as I'm wrapping the tape around, it may go parallel to the floor. It may crisscross a little bit. Keep, get, keep yeah, coming you, with this you tape. You can wet and I'll, I'll do the wrap. Okay. Jen showed me how to wet this. So this is just a washcloth with some water on it and. 
We're just going to wet it. Yeah, just a cake pan with a sponge yeah, or okay. any of those kind okay. of combinations will job. work. I can do that job. So as I'm wrapping, I'm laying the tape down flat on the body. And then now in this example, the tape can't go parallel to the floor because the body's round. So it's okay for the tape to do something different on an angle because our main goal is to create the smoothest look that we want to. Okay, and so you would always start on the bottom as opposed yeah, to anywhere else? Yeah, we usually else. start at the waist and then go to the hips and then start filling as, and I, as I'm doing it here to just fill in the area between the waist and the hips. Just So how many layers of tape would you actually have on this Probably three-ish to four, just okay, depending okay. on yeah. uh, where you're working and... Uh, how many angles and things Has you end up creating. Has anybody said, hey, stop, I'm claustrophobic, I can't take this anymore? You know, it's a good question. I've um, helped about 500 people make these forms over the past years. And out of that 500, I've had two ladies say, okay, I have to have this off. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. It's, so it does happen. It's okay. a, yeah, so it let's, does, let's but it's there. sure not a common thing. Yeah. Generally, yeah. How people long are pretty comfortable. How long does it take from start to finish? About an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes. And that gets it all dry? Yep. Yeah, we'll okay, use a hair okay. dryer partway near the end to okay. finish off the drying. I think we should go drying. on to our next model. Sure. I think, uh, but I think even on this one, you can see how we can really create pretty smooth yeah, yeah. layers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. And she can move. <laughs> not a whole not, lot. Not a whole but, lot. Yeah. But okay, here's model number two. Okay, then. so now on this one, we've completed the bottom. Yeah. And we have the, the hip area pretty much finished from just below the bum, over the hips and up to the yeah. waist. And then I started to do some of the vertical um, pieces of paper because those when ones will start to cover the upper chest, the shoulder areas, and between the breasts. Mm -hmm. And so with some of these ones, I was doing strips that were doing this between the breasts and up and over the shoulders to start to okay. cover you the body. You always use the full, oh, it's just, you just rip one, so you yeah. can rip them. Sometimes you, if they're too long, I just rip an end off and yeah, put it someplace yeah, yeah, else. Yeah. And then once we do a few more of those kind of wrappings vertically, we can sometimes add some more horizontally just to fill in, cover, lap over, make sure that all areas of the body. So maybe the next strip we could do would be some of the narrower ones just to show oh, how okay. all right. we do well, over the I've got this one sort of started. So That's we'll fine. Actually, this, this one, one I'll just finish. Okay, Great. here we go. We can use there. that one. And then the narrower ones, the you narrower just cut ones, the wide ones narrow. Is yeah, that it? The, the rolls of paper tape come um, about an inch and a half wide. Mm -hmm. And with breast shape, that doesn't allow you to make a nice smooth combination. So it works much better when we narrow the strips. So I've cut those um, paper tapes into about thirds. Okay. Just so to allow a, a nice smooth this. edge. Okay. So now over the bust, we're just going to tape top to bottom, sometimes on a bit of an angle to give it the best okay. chance to have a nice combination. And I often work um, on both sides at a time. Thanks, Linda. Okay. Well, Just we so are going to have to this. push on, but yeah. is there anything else with this that we need to know? Yeah. How do we get her out How of there? How do we That's get her what, out of there? So what, what we're going to do is that on the back of the form, I would draw a line up the back all the way up okay. from the bottom up and then using bandage scissors any of this these is like a cast this is like yeah. a cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then and how do you know when it is dry you can feel that it's you know it's amazing even the bottom of this is it's already it sort yeah. of has okay. that hollow okay. feeling yeah. Yeah. so then we just cut the plastic and then cut now i don't trust the scissors even though they have a tip yeah, yeah. So, so i always apologize there, yeah. to the model because i'm doing it's a little safer, bit of yeah. this yeah. Yeah. Cutting. If you were a nurse, maybe okay. Yeah, but, yeah, but I, I just feel better not yeah. to cut anything that's <laughs> underneath. So we cut up the back, and then the model can just kind of shrug forward from the front, and the form comes off and pretty off. comfortably. And mm -hmm. we then have this. And then we're down to this one. And then once the form is off the body, the magic of a stapler is fabulous. You can literally staple the first about four inches okay, yeah. and the top four inches, and it keeps it so well together. Okay. And then we paper tape okay. the back together. All right, this is looking quite good. And I'll then once it's finished, we just do some trimming around the edges because these are all single paper edges. Sure, sure. So we wrap them over with double paper. Yeah. Same with the armholes and yeah. the neck yeah. to have it at a way that it's um, a bit more durable yeah. and also more yeah. finished. And you said uh, an old lamp stand would work fine for this, so we're right. going to just rig one up. We had a lamp here, so. And if so. you didn't have a ball of wool, you can wad up a towel or something like that. Something and, uh, and 
tuck it into the neck. And there she is. Like so. Yeah. You can also hang her on a hanger because the hanger allows you to put it on the back of a hook on the sure, door sure, or hook sure, from the ceiling. Sure. So that works well too. Well, she's beautiful. She and uh, I'm still not, not absolutely <laughs> sure, but we'll see. So thank you so much, Jen. This is great. You're welcome. And don't you go away because we've got more good stuff coming up. So yeah. Guests of our show stay at Travel Lodge. Nice rooms, great people. Models provided by Chan International. Number one in personal development training, modeling, and acting. I'm here at the Creative Festival in Toronto, and this is one of the greatest places to be any of these festivals. These festivals are held in lots of cities across North America, the U.S. and Canada, and they're held regularly, so you should get yourself to one, because it's the meeting of the most exciting people, the greatest instructors, the greatest classes, the greatest displays. I mean, you'll get inspired, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's come on along, because there's lots of stuff to see. In fact, two of my favorite people. Come with me. Come, come. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. Okay. I have to talk to you too because you come every year, don't you? Yes. I mean, yes, yeah. I do. Uh, like, how many years have you been coming? Six. Okay. And why do you come? Because there's such a variety here, and in the spring, it just whets your appetite in the little seminars. Just enough to get you to come back in the fall again for the the, the hands-on. I know you right. love it because you can do hands-on at these things, or you can just do demo classes. You can just watch stuff. I mean, go there's all. such a big variety of everything that nobody should go home and feel that they can't craft something. Yes, that is neat. And of course, you've done lots of things. You yes, did your necklace, yes, I see, yes. and I probably took a class at one of them. Did you? You did all this too. Yes. Oh, good girl. Your sisters, I know, and this is a great sister kind of together oh, thing, it isn't is. it? It is. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. So I know you're here to stay. I mean, you're you're here every year, and that's we're fantastic. We're committed to you're, being here. <laughs> and you'll be back in the fall, I'm sure. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Uh, we're looking forward to the fall. You know, I did ask you ahead of time. Would you model in my fashion show? Because I know you're oh, you're wearing my stuff and whatever. Yes, yes, of course. That's where I have to go right now. I have to go to the fashion show. So can I get you to come along and yes, we'll do it? Sure. sure. Okay. I meet the most interesting people, and I've really got a good one this time because I love jewelry. And guess what? Maria Rypan, it's nice to meet you. My pleasure. And you do jewelry yeah. all over the country. I mean, you teach everywhere. I'm t teaching in uh, Milwaukee, in Tucson, New York City, Can uh, Edmonton. Calgary, Calgary, Calgary yeah, okay, close yeah, enough, yeah, and that's yeah. coming up, Kansas City, I'm okay. going to be the featured teacher okay, in a so week or so. tell me, I love what you've got on, I mean, I would give my eye teeth for that, this so how do you do it? very, very easy, I make it very, very easy, okay, I and we've years. got one, to, and the whole secret is starting from the center front. So just, just pick up all the beads as I've got charted out. Okay. Very, very simple, numbered, one, two, three, pick up all these beads, pick up as many beads, there's 32 here put on an, a little uh, red bead and then pick up some more beads. Add a chip, turn around and keep Come on back. going and coming out every three beads and picking up another chip at random with a little red bead. And just come up to here, and this part and here is netting. Yeah, okay. And then you come down here, and it just keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter. But meanwhile, how you've long? got interest. Yeah, how long would it take? How you long? Yeah. This is about a 10-hour project. I this is imagine. like a, this yeah. is a trip from uh, Toronto to San Francisco. <laughs> okay. Then you flip it over, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then this is another trip back home, and okay. then you've got another trip here. Okay. So this okay. is how I measure how it's long a good it thing is. Things to do, not when you're driving when you're the passenger. No, no, the passenger. The passenger, the passenger. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and I, then, I love it. I'm fascinated. But you do all variety. You do loom work. You do um, loom all work. 
Yeah. Yeah. What we've got pictured behind me is everything is just needle and thread. You don't need any looms because okay. that is a whole so separate issue. This is, a whole, this yeah. is just very easy, yeah, yeah. very, very portable. It's beautiful. And uh, very relaxing. And you teach and you have kids and all that. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I've got to do this now. Oh, this is going to be a busy time. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. what color? I mean, with the yeah, kids, exactly. you can have, you know, the color combination is yeah. ready to go. Or if on, you've on, got on a here. bead stash, I've got the patterns. Okay. Okay. Books, whatever. Yeah. Thanks, Maria. This is great. You're great welcome. to meet you. Thank you. You know, I've got the best job in the world. I get to come to places like this. This is the creative festival that I'm at. And it's just full of creative people who've got so many ideas. And they're willing to share it with everybody. So I'm going to give you a little glimpse at a few of them. And I've met a hooker. I know this is a family show, but I've met a hooker. So tell me, what's the deal? I'm a hooker and a madam for 15 years. Okay, but you hook? We hook traditional rug hooking. Fine example okay. all around you. All, I mean, not traditional. This doesn't look all that traditional. It's a cow. It's a cow, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's our old-fashioned way with a modern twist. Okay. We've updated it. Isn't that great? I love this, and I know I met the artist that did this one, and I even got some from her. So, I mean, there's just so many possibilities. Yes, it is. It's endless. Okay. It really is. Okay, so I can try it, too? You sure can. Okay, I'm, I'm on. You're hooked. Okay, I'm hooked. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. of a really good time is to make something in one day and wear it that same day. So I have a friend here that I know is going to go along with that. Kat, it's great to have you back. I am delighted to be here, Linda. To me, you're like Oprah, except with a sewing machine. <laughs> oh, you're very, very sweet. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, and have I got you sewing yet? Because I know we've had you on the show before. Yes, and that's why I'm here, because I know I can wear something within the same day and not uh, put the project aside because I'm frustrated. Okay. I thought we'd do one today that doesn't actually even involve sewing. So I thought this would be just kind of good news for you. Do tell. I don't mean that you're afraid of the sewing machine, but it's not something that you do every day. It is not. So, yeah. And I love scarves. I so do I. I have the idea that people can never have too many scarves. No, you cannot. I, I'm, I'm with you. So do you want to see the ones we're going to make? I sure would love that. Okay, here we go. Well, this so, is unique. Of course, I made the jacket because you can't find jackets like this. But what I did with that was that I put the, that sort of, it's, you could call it piping, but it's not piping. It's just fabric that I fringed and put it around the outside edge. So I put it around the sleeves and around the jacket. And then I thought, mm, do you think it's enough? It's never enough for me. So I thought, well, let me just do a scarf out of the fabric scraps. So now when you have a look at the whole thing, you've got the scarf that kind of ties the whole thing together. And then, of course, there is a skirt made out of this fabric. And it goes on and on, as you would well know. But that's just the way it is. It's a coat of many colors. Yeah, it is. It is. So I often like to match up things that I've got because I, I, I have black and white polka dot shoes. And, you know, you want to have some other element on that kind of ties together. You could, yes. you could relate to that. Oh, I can. So here we have the black and white polka dot fabric with some plain black fabric. And it kind of gives you that boa-like kind of festive kind of party look. Moulin and, Rouge. Yeah, yeah there for you go. day. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. So that's my next scarf. And then we did this scarf, and this scarf was kind of motivated by these kind of scarves. You know, probably everybody's got a whole bunch of these, yes. and I never really know how to tie them. I just find them kind of awkward. You could wear it as a belt, maybe, but it's kind of awkward. So I thought, why don't we just chop it up? So you chopped, like, a scarf that you had before to make yeah, this. Yeah, and I thought, you know, I could wear it much better like this than like this. The style is very trendy, and yeah. it is one of a kind. Yeah, yeah. I love that. So you may have a whole bunch of these that are just sitting there, Doing nothing. Be, doing nothing, needing to be cut up. All right. Then there's another idea, because we did this one earlier on the show, and what it is, it's yarn. This is actually yarn, and you sew it all over your jacket, before you sew the jacket up. But it sort of looks like chenille, which is another technique that you maybe know about or don't, but this is chenille yarn. So I thought, oh, that's kind of neat, and I had more yarn left over, so I thought, <laughs> Don't you think it's calling out to have a scarf? It is. So here's the scarf to match the whole I thing. I never would have thought of this because yeah. we always think yarn is for knitting. Yeah, but now yeah. it's for it's sewing. It's for embellishment and all kinds of things. Yeah. So Amazing. Yeah, yarn is fun. 
Oh, that is fun. And I couldn't help but notice the gorgeous necklace you have on. <laughs> Funny you should mention that because it's just kind of a mini scarf is what it is. Because if you want to make a short one and make it not so long and tie it around your neck, this is good. So uh, I'll show you how I did it. Well, actually, I should tell you why. You'll notice the shoes look quite a bit the same. Very Vegas. Um, well, they are Vegas, actually, because I was in Vegas at a conference, you know, sort of in my conference style. I wasn't in the party mode, and I should have thought, why, why wouldn't I think? And, of course, there was a party that night, so I thought, I've got to get some foofy kind of shoes, and I found these for $10. So I thought, okay, they're perfect. I knew there was going to be dancing involved, so I thought, I've got to put some kind of thing to tie these on. So I just got some braid, and then around your ankle, and tie these on, and they're going to stay on. Because if you're dancing, oh, yes. you want your shoes to stay on. And you want to be fashionable. Yes. And then I thought, I've got to have a scarf to match. Or uh, jewelry, actually. I went looking for jewelry, and it was going to cost me a hundred times more than the shoes. Uh, I wasn't going to go there. So I said, let's get some fabric. So I got the fabric to match, like this. And I just cut it into bias. And when you talk, do you know what bias is? I do not. Okay. Bias is when you have a piece of fabric, there's a straight grain and there's a cross grain. And if you cut it straight, it's got to all fray. Yes. And if you cut it across, it's going to all fray. But if you cut it at 45 degree angle, it's not going to fray. Oh. So something like this, I mean, it'll fray a little bit, but it won't fray nearly as much as if you cut it straight. So let's take a couple of those pieces and pretend this is your core. Your core could be anything. It could be a piece of ribbon. It could be a piece of... In fact, these things that you're tying on could be ribbon. Anything works on this. And all you are is tying it on. It's tying it on. Literally tying, <laughs> tying, it, tying on. it on. That's it. So you could make a bunch of them. You could have different colors. You could be, put a piece like this, and a piece like this. And, we could and any color and one. any length, correct? Any length, really. Um, and I tie two together because it goes quicker than tying one. And then I just tie a bunch of these. And actually, you know, you could have this as a little brooch or something, too. Or, in, in my hair, hair, wherever, wherever. So this would that. work for you. Even bridesmaid shoes. You know when you're trying to match the dress with the shoe? Yes. This would be festive. Well, I like these so much that I actually bought two pairs because the price was so good and whatever. And these are just glued on. So they're just ties glued on. So I thought, those can all come off and I can make some more ties out of whatever to go with whatever outfit. So then I'll have another pair of shoes to match that same jacket or whatever. Such so, a visionary. Linda. Well, like this is so one of a kind. If you can dream it, you really can make it. And that's why it is fun. And that's why fashion is fun because it's changing all the time. Yes, it is. And it's easy. I mean, I can do this in yes. my spare time. In fact, I like to do it in a car. Not when I'm oh. driving. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm driving. When I'm in the passenger, when you're sitting on the couch watching yes. TV or whatever it is that you're doing. So yeah. Thanks for coming, Kat. Thanks so much for having me. I can't wait to come back. And I hope you'll come back and join us again next time. See you then. To receive the companion book for this series with all of the project details, send 1998 to the address on your screen or call 1-888-McPhee or visit us on the web at www.mcpheeworkshop.com. Sponsored in part by Janome, quality sewing machines since 1921. And by Rowenta, the garment care experts, meeting the needs of the sewing enthusiasts for over 100 years with high-performance irons, steamers, steam generators, and ironing boards. And Wonderfill Specialty Threads, thread for the way you sew. And by the Woolen Mill Store, your source for quality fabrics and more, featuring the largest selection of wool and wool blend. Yardage from Pendleton Woolen Mills and by Horn of America. Experience quality, innovative ideas, and customer service. And Creative Festival, bursting at the seams with hundreds of industry experts, conference classes, exhibits, and more. Experience creativity in the making.